all the way through my adult life, there have been three people that have been a major influence for me. Gandhi, Socrates and Nelson Mandela. All of these people were individuals and they created huge change through their thoughts, their actions and their deeds. They were all individuals, as I've said, and yes, they had flaws. But to me, that's what just makes us human. They didn't physically force change. They didn't throw money at forcing change. They used their words to get people to listen. They appealed to hearts and minds to make people want to change. And they would empathise with those people that they were talking to. I always remember a quote from Gandhi that said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. I decided that I wanted to make a difference. I decided that it wasn't good enough to let the status quo prevail. The more I had discovered about what had happened on that terrible day, the more my sense of injustice rose. They were putting ordinary members of the public's lives in danger, all in the name of profit. And I wasn't going to have that from big business. So I decided to stand up. I decided to put myself out there. And I decided to have a go at making that change. I wasn't asked to. I wasn't advised to. Quite the opposite, in fact. My doctors, my family and my friends asked me not to. And in truth, my recovery and my life would have been a lot easier if I hadn't. However, I think there is a point in all of our lives when we have to say, that's simply not good enough. When we can see that change is important and necessary, that's when we need to make a stand. And I would argue, when you reach that point, you should and you must act. Not for your own benefit, but for the benefit of others. You just need to be smart about how you go about it. The first thing I did, the first really important thing I did when running this campaign was I started off by researching. I got in touch with other campaign groups from other incidents from the past, and I asked them questions. I asked them what had worked for them and what hadn't worked for them. And obviously, the things that hadn't, I then was very careful to avoid. The things that had, I then duplicated them and built them into my own campaign, along with some new ideas. The other research that I looked into very deeply was the different parties we had to work with. It wasn't just the rail companies and the government. We had regulatory bodies to worry about. We had trade unions to worry about. There was the media that kept on following me around because of the mask. I never enjoyed the media. <laughs> um, and there was also public opinion. We had to keep the public on side with what we were doing. The other research I did was how to talk to people, the different parties. When did I need to be demanding? When did I need to be a bit more persuasive? Did I need to be collaborative? Did I need to be almost appealing, pleading? Or did I need to be informative? And by employing those different tactics, dependent on the situation and the parties, it seemed to work. We got listened to and we got paid attention to. And eventually, we won the battle. It's all very well doing the research, and it's all very well then taking the action. 
but I instinctively knew I had to continually assess our progress, where we were, what effect it was having, and change direction if that's what it required. If something wasn't working, we would change. It would have been so easy at certain points for me to give up. I could have walked away and just got on with my recovery. But I didn't. And the reason I didn't? I kept the goal in mind, in place, in front of me all the time. I always said at the time, I would rather have tried and failed than never to have tried at all. Words are indeed mighty. They have the power to change the world. They can be persuasive. They can plant a seed of an idea that others then take on to grow. They can encourage creative thinking. Listen, particularly to the younger people, as they come up with the new ideas or what might be a good idea, and give it a try. No different to when I was rebuilding my life and I took a few wrong turnings. You give it a try, you then realise that isn't quite for me, you then divert away from it and continue on a new path. Just keep on embracing change, keep on adapting. And just think, if one person can make a difference, just imagine how much difference many millions could make. Thank you.